They're both men and women, most carrying a heavy military style backpack called a rucksack. And they were on a mission called Ruck to Remember. And today's tour of monuments in the Capitol was just the last nine miles of a very long and heartfelt journey. Here's Scott Broom. When we first saw the Ruck to Remember team, they were on the Washington and Old Dominion Rail Trail in Virginia, an unusual sight among the bikers and runners. Men and women hiking in military formation, humping heavy rucksacks, just like on a combat deployment. They were in the midst of a three-day journey on foot. Soldiers would call that a Ruck that started on the Appalachian Trail in Virginia, 60 miles away. Marine veteran and rucker Max Walsh introduced himself on the WOND trail after a night spent at the firehouse in Purcellville. Hey, I do this uh, because I'm a Marine veteran um, and I wanted to do something on Memorial Day that uh, I could remember and honor my brothers that I served with, uh, especially my friend uh, Lance Corporal John Cagle. He was killed in Afghanistan uh, September 2011. A lot of people here uh, are military veterans. Uh, they might do this for somebody that they know that uh, were killed in action. but. I think the thing that speaks a lot to this event is that there's a lot of people that are not veterans here at all. They saw this as a greater calling uh, and a better way to spend their Memorial Day weekend. Hikers and bikers like Malik Walker paused. It reminds me how grateful I am to, to grow up in an area um, and in, in a country where people are so selfless. After two long days of rucking, the hike down the WOND brought the ruckers to the Iwo Jima Memorial where this morning at dawn, they assembled for a final nine mile march around the memorials, ending at Arlington National Cemetery. Ruck to Remember is the signature event for an organization called the Honor Movement Foundation, which connects veterans facing challenges with resources to help including mental health support, financial aid for veteran families in crisis, and career transition counseling for veterans re-entering civilian life. Tonight, rockers are nursing sore feet, knowing they made a big difference on this Memorial Day. Scott Brew, WUSA 9.